Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Gaming Command Center. I haven't done um, one of these face-to-face -face videos in a while. Um, this is probably going to be my last Overwatch League schedule video for the season. Um, maybe I'll do a recap on the whole season once this whole thing comes to an end. But um, I'm just going to recap what happened between um, playoff um matches for weeks one and two and then um i'll head into the semis and the grand finals but after this what i'm probably going to do is um after this i'm probably going to hopefully go or maybe go back to the um news updates that I did while the um, whole thing was done for the season. So I may just do um, news updates for the off season and then schedules for the season. So um, in playoffs, weekend one, I mean, nothing to see here, really. It looks all just ordinary stuff that you look at except for Boston beat Houston at loss three to one. That must have been really embarrassing for them. But besides that, um playoffs looked pretty looks pretty decent. Um Washington won against Vancouver, three nothing. Uh Hunters won against the Spitfire three to one. Uh, Gladiators won against the Defiant, 3-2. Rain won against the Uprising, 3-1. Justice won against the Fuel, 3-0. Excelsior won against the Hunters, 3-2. Dynasty shut out the Spark, 3-0. Fusion shut out the Gladiators, 3-0. Valiant won against the Mayhem, 3-2. Shock won against the Justice, 3-2. Atlanta won against uh, the uh, Paris, 3-2. Shanghai won against uh, New U won against New York three to one. Um, Dynasty. I'm surprised at these guys. Like they're in eleventh place and they're shutting out all the teams like the Charge three nothing. Uh, Florida won against Gladiators three nothing. Justice three nothing against Paris. You got a lot of shutouts here with um, three nothing shutouts like Philadelphia and Los Angeles Valiant three nothing. And then Shock won against the Rain 3 to 1. Heading into playoffs week two, um, we got um, a bunch of different teams. Once again, nothing really new or throwing us off here. Um, I, as you probably may know, the three teams that already moved on Soul Dynasty, San Francisco Shock, Philadelphia Fusion and Shanghai Dragons. But as far as the playoffs we can two went, Mayhem shut out the Rain 3 nothing, Justice shut out the Valiant 3 to 1, Excelsior shut out the Charge 3 nothing, Dragons went against the Dynasty 3 to 2, Shock went against the Fusion 3 to 1, Justice shut out the Mayhem 3 nothing, Dynasty shut out New York 3 nothing. Um, and Fusion shut out the Justice 3 nothing. So now, my predictions. What I think is going to happen so far, tomorrow at 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. are the matches between Soul Dynasty and the Shock and Fusion and the Dragons. Here's what I think. San Francisco and Philadelphia Fusion are basically on the same page so far as they're struggling a little bit more down the line, but they're still getting the work done. So, I mean, you look at San Francisco and you got their roster like Super and Shoyobin and all those other great players on there um and then you look at soul dynasty and you got profit you got jester and 
I think those are the key players that helped Seoul Dynasty in their uh, succession so far in the playoffs and now the Grand Finals. So, in my opinion, Seoul Dynasty and Shanghai Dragons are also very similar as well. The reason being is because both of them have... Both of them have been winning a lot. Shanghai overall across the board are like... This is like... your. This is not... Shanghai Dragons, not your regular Overwatch team. This is basically just an Overwatch team on crack. This is... This is what it is. So, Shanghai and Seoul Dynasty, why I'm, why I'm saying they're similar is because Seoul Dynasty now, they're shutting everybody out, but Seoul, they're really not shutting everybody out. They're just winning going along with it. But either way, both of them are really great teams. So, Seoul Dynasty, I, I've i seen them play before. Like, they've got strong force, and they... And when the bricks are down and they are in an, under pressure, they know when it's go time. Like, they just take off in that. Um, so, San Francisco Shock and Seoul Dynasty. I'm going to have to go with Seoul Dynasty on that, of winning that match. I mean, if they can keep this momentum going, it would shock me it would shock i'd say a lot of the overwatch league community and it would shock um basically video gamers <laughs> so that's what i'd say and um the other match is philadelphia fusion and san francisco shock philadelphia fusion you've got players like carpe you've got eqo you got poco You've got all those other great players, and then you got Shanghai. When you got Fearless, you have Fleta, you have... I think, yeah, it's like Fearless, Fleta... I don't think... No, Masa's on the shock, but... Um, but you got other great players on Shanghai Dragons as well. Safe to say, though... Shanghai is going to win against the Fusion. But I don't know what's going to happen for the semis. But in my opinion, the final match is going to be Shanghai Dragons and Seoul Dynasty. In my opinion. But I'd say all in all, Shanghai is going to win this. All in all. Like, all these teams have tried and tried and tried again to beat this team, and they have been unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Maybe with the exception of two or four losses throughout the whole entire season. Um, Seoul Dynasty and Shanghai Dragons, that's probably going to be my grand finals prediction the match to watch. But Shanghai is probably gonna gonna take the whole thing, in my opinion. And what is the weird part about all this? I mean going down the line in the past three seasons, in the first season, Shanghai Dragons haven't won a single game. A single game. Throughout week one. They were at an 0 and 42 losing streak. In second season, they came back a little bit, and eventually they um I believe they it was the season three. They won uh s season three stage finals, stage three finals, and this season, they have just completely dominated across the board. Um, I think Shanghai are going to win this. I wouldn't technically say deserve, 
And the reason being is because this season I've seen them win, 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 win. They've even won tournaments. And I believe, like, one time they were excited about it. Like, during the Countdown Cup, Shanghai won. And they just treated it as any regular match. They they won and they're like, oh, okay, another win in the books. Like, it's probably going to be same the same for the Grand Finals. They're just going to win. They're just going to go, eh, pretty cool. And then their next match, it it's it's like... It's like taking candy from a baby, this team. I have I have no other words to describe them. I mean, Shanghai is just probably going to take over the whole season, but um, what we look, um, as sports fans look for throughout sports seasons is that it's kind of going to get boring if different ple- different the same teams win every single year so i mean i mean it's nice to see different teams win so um hopefully this is going to be the case with shanghai just like one time and then it's done so yeah overall shanghai's going to win i also heard online that London Spitfire has um, taken down all their roster and their staff and they're going to completely revamp the team which I thought was pretty interesting they had it going for like one this season and that was it so yep in my opinion San Francisco is going to lose Philadelphia is going to lose in the semis Seoul Dynasty and Shanghai will clash Dragons are going to win that is my guess so I may do a recap on this to just to wrap it all up, but um, all in all, that is going to be the end of the video. Um, this weekend, I'm going to do more live streams, and I will. And at this year, I'm definitely going to stream a lot more on Overwatch now since um, the Overwatch Halloween event, Halloween Terror is going to come out pretty soon, and. Overwatch Summer Games, I didn't really stream that much, mainly because of Fall Guys and all the other popular games that came out. So this this time, I'm going to try to fit in more Overwatch, or definitely fit in more Overwatch. So um, that is going to be it for today's video, so make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you for this weekend. So peace out, keep calm, keep on flying. Later.